What's up again, you beautiful nerds? I am Wildfire One. Thank you again for joining me this week with another instant ramen review. This week it's going to be Japanese ramen seafood tenkatsu. And I can tell you right now, if you can see that, but if it's sitting right in front of me, it smells very seafoody. It's, there's a fish right here, fishy in my face, and it's, uh, I love seafood. So this is right up my alley. Does it taste good? We're about to find out. We already established last week that uh, this, this type of ramen blows normal ramen like out of the water, dude. Like giving it a little bit of time to kind of cool off. It's still really hot. <sighs> Let's give this a try. Again, oh, very fishy, almost too much so. Like, and then this one to cook it, to make it, um, it was just one packet. And it was literally just the flakes and whatever else was in it. Um, and I, like I've said before, I love tonkatsu, so the ramen. Oh yeah, also, I don't know if I mentioned this last week, but these were made in like three minutes. Mm. The, uh, again, the noodles are good. This one might be a little too fishy. I love, fi I love seafood, I really do. You can ask uh, J-Flo or anyone else I eat ramen with, like uh, Sam36 or even uh, Grizzly. Hell, uh, Monster74 will tell you that I love seafood ramen. Um, I love seafood in general, but like it's overpowering. It's like they, whatever they put in this, in the in the the stuff that makes the broth, was just it was like they were trying to. Yeah, this is seafood, 100% seafood. Be sure you, that way you know. It's just like it's a constant reminder. You get it to your face. It's like oh, low tide. So, so far, for the off-putting smell, it's a six. It tastes good, like, it, so far it tastes good, but that off-putting, that smell is very, I've had seafood ramen to where it's not so bad. But we'll try the broth. That might bring it up some. Okay, it's like a, it's like, it's a six. It's definitely a six. Um, the only reason it's not like an eight or a seven is because of the, the smell. It's too much. Is it edible? Oh, hell yeah. It's good. It's very good. You're going to hold it from your face like this and eat the ramen. But it's, uh, it's not bad at all for the most part. But you can taste what they're trying to make it taste like. like I, I believe that there's seafood in this. Is there? Probably not. Probably like fish, uh, fish oil or something that's in the flakes, or you know, some some sort of magical ancient Japanese secret that they put in this. And mm. now. That said, like, I'll, I'll put it this way. Is it like gourmet? Is it like something you'll get out of a restaurant where you get all the good fixings with it? Like, you know, the meat and... No. But com I am comparing this to what I'm used to. And as far as instant ramen goes. And to be honest with you, this is gourmet compared to the normal instant ramen that I eat. All right, guys. Uh, one, like I said, this is a 6 out of 10. Definitely good uh, tenkatsu seafood taste. We'll see you next week on the next one. Stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.